Hi, my dears. How are you? Hope you are keeping well. Okay. Uh, I think uh, you are ready to listen to the story. Aren't you? Yes. Let us uh, read a story today. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Yes. This is today's story. The Greedy Mouse. Okay. Let us start. One day, mouse found a very big bun. Look at the bun. A very big bun. This is the mouse. Okay. I will take this bun into my house, he said. This is mouse house. Can you see the name? Home. What is written here? Home. This is the hole of the mouse. I will take this bun into my house, he said. He pushed the bun from the back. It did not move. He pushed the bun from the back. It did not move. He pushed it from the front. The bun did not move. Look at the mouse. It is pushing, pushing the bun. But did the mouse, did the bun move? No, it didn't move. He pushed it from the front. The bun did not move. He pushed it from the right. The bun did not move. Look at the mouse. It's pushing and pushing from the right side. The bun did not move. He ran around the bun and pushed it from the left, but it still did not move. Oh, poor mouse, it's pushing and pushing, but the bun did not move. Mm. I will tie a string around the bun and pull it into my house. Look at the string. What is the color of the string? Yes, red. He is tying the string around the bun. But what happened? Look here. Yeah. Mouse ran to the house and got a string. But it was too short. The string was short. The mouse couldn't tie the bun. Tie the string around the bun. He went back and got a longer string. Look here, a longer string. What is the color of this longer string? Green. He tied the bun with the long string, then pulled and pulled, but it did not move. Pulling, look at the mouse, it is pulling the bun with the string, but the bun didn't move. Mouse sat down and ate a little bit of the bun. Look at the look at the mouse. What is it doing? Eating the bun. A little bit. A very small piece. A little bit. It was very good. Tasty. The bun was very tasty. It was very good. He ate a little more. Then a little more and a little more till the bun became smaller and smaller. He pushed the bun. It rolled right into his house. Ah, now, Mouse was very happy. The bun was safely in his house. Now the bun is inside his house. Why? The bun is very small now, not a big bun, very small, so it can roll. He pushed the bun, it rolled right into his house. Moss was very happy. 
the bun was safely in his house. But he had eaten so much bun that his stomach had become so, so big. Look at the mouse stomach. Very big stomach now. The bun is very small, but the stomach is big. Mouse pushed and pushed himself, but he could not get into his house. Why? Why mouse could not go into the house? The mouse stomach is very big now. Mouse sat outside his door holding his stomach. <laughs> look at look at the picture. Now the mouse is holding his stomach. Earlier the mouse was holding the bun, but now he is holding the his stomach, that is. The mouse sat outside his door holding his stomach and groaned. I should not have eaten so much bun. I should have shared it with someone. I should not have eaten so much bun. I should have shared it with someone. Okay. Let us read the story once more. The greedy mouse. Why the mouse is greedy? He had eaten so much bun. He didn't give the bun to any other mouse, to his friends. He didn't give the bun to his friends. That's why he is greedy. Okay. The greedy mouse. One day, mouse found a very big bun. I will take this bun into my house, he said. He pushed the bun from the back. It did not move. He pushed it from the front. The bun did not move. He pushed it from the right. The bun did not move. He ran around the bun and pushed it from the left, but it still did not move. Mm, I will tie a string around the bun and pull it into my house. Mouse ran to the house and got a string, but it was too short. He went back and got a longer string. He tied the bun with the long string, then Pulled and pulled, but it did not move. Mouse sat down and ate a little bit of the bun. It was very good. He ate a little more, then a little more, and a little more, till the bun became smaller and smaller. He pushed the bun. It rolled right into his house. Mouse was very happy. The bun was safely in his house. But he had eaten so much bun that his stomach had became, become so, so big. Mouse
pushed and pushed himself, but he could not get into his house. Mouse sat outside his door, holding his stomach and groaned. I should not have eaten so much bun. I should have shared it with someone. And my dears, will you share uh, something with your friends? and your brothers and sisters or will you eat will you um, take it for yourself share it with others otherwise we will be coming uh, we, we will be in trouble so share the things with others okay now let us read its uh, malayalam story okay ready ready അത്യാഗ്രഹിയായ എലി ഒരു ദിവസം എലിക്ക് ഒരു വലിയ ബൺ കിട്ടി ഞാൻ ഈ ബൺ എൻ്റെ വീട്ടിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുപോകും അവൻ പറഞ്ഞു അവൻ ബണ്ണിനെ പിറകിൽ നിന്ന് തള്ളി അത് അനങ്ങിയില്ല അവൻ അതിനെ മുൻപിൽ നിന്ന് തള്ളി ബൺ അനങ്ങിയില്ല അവൻ അതിനെ വലതുവശത്ത് നിന്ന് തള്ളി ബൺ അനങ്ങിയില്ല അവൻ ബണ്ണിന് ചുറ്റും ഓടി ഇടതുവശത്ത് നിന്ന് തള്ളി എന്നിട്ടും അതനങ്ങിയില്ല ബണ്ണിന് ചുറ്റും ഒരു ചരട് കെട്ടി ഞാൻ ഇതിനെ എൻ്റെ വീട്ടിലേക്ക് വലിക്കും എലി വീട്ടിലേക്ക് ഓടിപ്പോയി ഒരു ചരടുമായി വന്നു പക്ഷെ അത് വളരെ ചെറുതായിപ്പോയി അവൻ തിരിച്ചു പോയി ഒരു നീളമുള്ള ചരടുമായി വന്നു അവൻ നീളമുള്ള ചരട് ബണ്ണിന് ചുറ്റും കെട്ടി വലിച്ചു പക്ഷെ വലിച്ചിട്ടും വലിച്ചിട്ടും അത് അനങ്ങിയില്ല ക്ഷീണിച്ചു പോയ എലി അവിടെ ഇരുന്ന് ബണ്ണിൻ്റെ ഒരു ചെറിയ കഷ്ണം കഴിച്ചു അതിന് നല്ല രുചിയുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അവൻ കുറച്ചുകൂടി കഴിച്ചു പിന്നെ കുറച്ചുകൂടി പിന്നെയും കുറച്ചുകൂടി കഴിക്കും തോറും ബൺ ചെറുതായിക്കൊണ്ടേയിരുന്നു അവൻ ബണ്ണിനെ തള്ളി അപ്പോൾ അത് അവൻ്റെ വീട്ടിനുള്ളിലേക്ക് ഉരുണ്ട് കയറി എനിക്ക് വളരെ സന്തോഷമായി അവസാനം ബൺ സുരക്ഷിതമായി അവൻ്റെ വീട്ടിലെത്തിയല്ലോ പക്ഷേ ഇത്രയധികം ബൺ കഴിച്ചത് കൊണ്ട് അവൻ്റെ വയർ എത്ര എത്ര വലുതായി അവൻ അവനെ തന്നെ തള്ളിയും ഉന്തിയും നോക്കിയെങ്കിലും അവന് സ്വന്തം വീട്ടിനുള്ളിലേക്ക് കയറുവാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല വീടിന് വെളിയിൽ ഇരുന്ന് വയറും പിടിച്ച് അവൻ കരഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ ഇത്രയധികം ബൺ കഴിക്കരുതായിരുന്നു ഞാനത് ആരോടെങ്കിലും പങ്കിട്ട് കഴിക്കണമായിരുന്നു ഡിഡ് യു ലൈക്ക് ദ സ്റ്റോറി ലിസൺ ടു ദ സ്റ്റോറി ടു ഓർ ത്രീ ടൈംസ് ദെൻ റീഡ് ദ സ്റ്റോറി റെക്കോർഡ് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് പോസ്റ്റ് യുവർ ടീച്ചർ ഓക്കെ Uh, so let us see again in the next week with another story till then bye bye see you again